Hey guys, Xander here at the Fusion Cam Team, and today we're gonna to be looking at wrapped geometry. How do you make it? Well, good question. So we're gonna be making this part for starters, and then I'm gonna add on a few more features that are gonna be a little bit more advanced. But to get started, let's just go ahead and hop into a new part and go to the patch environment, because patch environment's awesome. I'm gonna create a new sketch, create a circle. My stock is 1.5 inches, so 1.5 inches it is. And I'm just gonna divide this into three sections because we had three sections on that other part and I liked it. So to do three sections, I'm just gonna divide it up into 120 degree pie slices and then trim off the exterior over here and convert the rest into construction geometry. I'm just hitting the X key by the way. Now we're gonna go ahead and do an extrusion, extrude 0.5 inches up and we're gonna create an offset plane from here. Half of 1.5 is 0.75 in the negative direction. And we're gonna create a new sketch on this plane. And this is what's gonna actually be the geometry we want to have as that feature. So I'm gonna start off with a line. I'm just gonna draw some type of geometry here. Looks pretty good. Add in a fillet, a sketch fillet that is. And we're gonna make that radius 0.075. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the body split feature. Split body, same thing. Click the sketch. And we're going to delete the top surface. And there's our first profile. Now to create this into 3D geometry, we're going to use the thicken tool. And we're going to go down an eighth inch. Looks good. And now we're going to hop over into the modeling environment. We're going to do a circular pattern. We're going to pattern bodies. We're going to choose our z-axis here. And we're going to have three copies. We're now going to combine them. One, two, three. And now we have our first geometry. And it is wrapped so all these edges are gonna be pointing towards the center, basically. And so now let's go ahead and get into the second way of creating wrap features. So I'm gonna create a new sketch on this bottom plane here. I'm just gonna project in that circle. Hit okay, and we're gonna extrude. And we're gonna go down, call it point one. That looks good to me. And again, on that plane we had before, show that again, we're gonna create a sketch. And this time we're gonna do a circle, 0.15. And we'll have this be 0.1 above. I guess that ended up at the origin anyways. Why aren't you constrained? Be constrained. Now we're gonna do the second feature. So we're gonna go ahead and do a split face this time. Choose this face. And our splitting tool is gonna to be a circle. And instead of split with surface, I'm gonna do closest point. It kind of depends on what you're doing or what you're splitting, but for the most part, closest point can tend to squish geometry while a surface tends to stretch geometry when you're wrapping it to a circular profile like this. So I'll show you a surface later and I'll show you what actually goes wrong there. But for this, closest point works well. Hit OK. Now we're going to do the press pull command. Click this surface here, and we're gonna press pull negative 05. That looks good. So there is our circle. And again, you can see it's kinda of got these drafted edges on the side, but the top and bottom are good. It, you can really see it if I actually change the transparency here and go like 50%. You can see it's actually drafting in, and it actually goes straight towards the center. Anyways, undo that opacity 100%. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pattern that. So circular pattern again. We're gonna do circular pattern faces. It gets mad if you don't do faces. Choose that axis. And maybe eight. So there is that. We're gonna create some more geometry. Create sketch. And we will extrude that 1.5 inches down. Again, showing this plane, we're gonna create another sketch on this plane. Now we're gonna add in some more fillets again. All right, and then utilizing that trick again, we're gonna do split face, choose the face, choose our tool. And this is where you'll see closest point makes it too thin. It smushes it together. However, split with surface is going to actually stretch it out and elongate it a bit. Now for this one, the elongation is actually kind of what I want because if I do the squished one, it looks kind of weird. So I'm gonna do split with surface on this one. Again, we're gonna do the press pool, negative point one two five. Go again to the back. And now we have our two push surfaces there. 
And those are also going to be drafted just so. So as you look at them, you can see it goes normal like that. Hey guys, sorry about that. My recording program crashed. So I'm going to show you one last feature, and that's using the coil command to cut out that spiral sweep profile that was in the last video. And this one's pretty simple. Actually, it's going to be the simplest of all of them. We're going to create a new offset plane from this bottom surface here. And we're going to offset it maybe negative 0.25. Seems like a good number. Create a coil on that plane. Circle with radius 1.5. No, diameter 1.5. Ah, almost made my mistake there. So you can see we have the basics of what we had before in that last video. Bump up that size a little bit. Obviously my cylinder's a little smaller, but that looks pretty good. And section position, if you did inside, it will cut deeper but I'm gonna do on center, hit okay. And now you can see that we have that spiral profile that we had in the last video. So this is basically how I create any wrap geometry inside Fusion. Maybe I'll post this part up on the forums. I actually got a more advanced one that I created earlier and see what you guys come up with as far as tool paths go as I work on this advanced video. Anyways, see you guys next time.